Good morning and happy Saturday. Welcome to my vlog. I am actually outside. You wouldn't believe it. I am just in the woods because I was kicked by inspiration and I decided that I want to do some Easter decorations. And I am just looking around and trying to source some materials, something which I can use for possibly making an Easter wreath and maybe some other things i don't know i'm just having i'm just looking around and trying to figure it out what am i going to do it's next week again i managed to do a workout already had the shower breakfast and all that stuff now we are outside and then i'll just go along with my day it's so nice to be outside i had my hat on i was I'm expecting that it will be much colder outside, but it's actually pretty nice and I'm enjoying myself. It's so quiet. Hear that? Just birds and no noise whatsoever. I really enjoy going out and now when it's slightly better weather, we can do that and enjoy ourselves. So now I'm going to start looking and hopefully find some things and maybe show you what did I found if I found something what am I going to do with it if I actually will do anything we'll see let's just be surprised I managed to find some sticks which are currently lying on the floor but I'm going to try and attempt to make um, Easter reef or spring reef but first I need to make a floor cleaner Yes, I'm going to make it. Well, really, not really. But I have an empty bottle from a method floor cleaner. And then I bought this Ocean Saver drops, which is, um, this one is all floors cleaner. And what you need to do, you just drop this one into the water. It will dissolve and you have your floor cleaner just ready, just like that. I already used this Ocean Saver for, I think it was bubbles. Daisy, a bathroom descaler and I use that in the bathroom obviously where else would I use it but um, I'm going to try this one as a floor cleaner and then also I have a multi-surface cleaner which is just sitting in the cupboard and waiting for my multi-surface cleaner to run out so I can make a new one and I thought I will show you how am I gonna do it so I will need to put you somewhere on the kitchen counter and just quickly show you how easy it is so i have a bottle ready instruction says that i need to drop one of these into the bottle and then add 750 ml of water this bottle is only holding 739 so let's pretend that it's um how it should be <laughs> and i will just add as much water as i possibly can into the bottle they also give you so this is how the drop actually looks like they also give you a label which you can stick on your bottle so you know what product do you have inside also there is sort of back side label with the ingredients and instructions how to use it so i will just drop this one inside Ta -da, and add the water just put it on the side so you can see it better. Whoop. This is very satisfying. Okay. I think we are going to leave it here. Then I'll put... Stop. and now I should shake it until it dissolves of course water is everywhere because I uh, missed the bottle <laughs> it's too lazy it doesn't want to dissolve it's still there oh but it's slowly dissolving can you see <laughs> not dissolving <laughs> I'm sure I'm doing it right 
right? I'm sure that's how I'm supposed to do it. They wasn't supposed to squeeze it in because that would make I would just splash everything everywhere. To be completely honest, the bathroom descaler came in like a hard tablet, so it wasn't a bag. But I think this one, well, it's changing a shape. So I think it's dissolving. Let me shake it a bit more. Done. It's all dissolved. You can see it changed the color. It's all gone. I just really needed to shake it a bit more. There's still a little bit floating inside. I'm not sure. Oh, you can see it here. It looks very interesting. But this will all dissolve. And I have a floor cleaner. This one is a rhubarb as well. I'm sort of obsessed with uh, cleaning products smelling as a rhubarb. For some reason, I really, really like it. But now I'm going to sit down and try and make that reef. So let's come sit with me and see what is going to happen. Let's do this. I don't know what I'm doing. So I'll have a glass because on the end, the only thing which we found which was probably suitable is holly, the green branches of holly. And I don't think they are very safe to touch. So yeah, <laughs> what am I gonna do? I was kind of thinking that I will somehow whip them, whip them, is that the right word, into each other and make Some nice reef, I'm not sure if this is going to I will do this and then another one somehow connect it together and have a reef then that might work but I might need extra hands I think I will catch up with you on some time I'm done and this is the final not final but kind of final for now um, circle which I gave up and I just tied them together and tried to hide the odd pieces but some of them are just poking out 
but it's not perfect. I didn't really want it to be perfect anyway because I want it to look more natural and more um, uneven. So I'm not that angry about it. I can see potential. So now I'm thinking, what am I going to put on it? I was kind of thinking maybe a little bit of moss situation. I'm not sure where I can get the moss. I think I will go for more hunting tomorrow. I'll put it somewhere here into the corner. And then I have those little cute chickens, which I bought from Poundland like ages ago. And I have a lot of them, so I can put some of them here and I think it will be cute. Also, I have those colorful ribbons here. So this might be something to consider. I also have very short yellow ones. And I'll see what I will come up with. I also am thinking to put like a half egg and maybe put some of those chickens in. But I think this is going to be a challenge for tomorrow. I need to think about it and see what I can come up with. Also, I just realized right now that today I washed and hoovered and cleaned the floor in the kitchen and this is the current stage and situation. So all my work, which I have done today, was completely useless <laughs> because everything is dirty and messy and it needs cleaning again. I'm drawing some clothes on the radiator from my workout. I almost gave up, but I didn't. I'm quite proud of myself that I didn't, but I was that close, that close into giving up. Now I need to tidy up the floor and start thinking what am I going to put on the reef. Also, I think I'm going to be chilling out, probably playing some games and do some little old jobs at home, but I'm not going to be creating anything, I think, for the rest of the day. So... I'll see you probably tomorrow, hopefully, that tomorrow is not going to be crazy Sunday, but we will be able to catch up together. Happy Sunday to you all, from me, from the kitchen to you. Hair is a mess, kitchen is a mess, life is a mess, but everything is good. I started watching Shit Creek again and I just <laughs> made the breakfast, we already finished it, as you can see the plate. It wasn't a smoothie this morning. I woke up and I just craved pancakes so much that I actually made some and now I need to tidy up a kitchen because um, that's what you have to do. Anyways, what I was wanted, what was I wanted, what? what was I talking about? I don't know. I don't know what was I talking about. My reef is still very plain. It still looks like this. I have a few ideas what I might do with it. I actually turn to internet for some um, inspiration and I think I know what I want to do with it, but I still need to decorate a few bits which might go on reef. So I think I will catch you up on that next weekend because that might take me a while to finish it. I started watching Shit Creek again. I think this is the fourth or fifth time I'm watching it. I discovered the show during the first lockdown, which was last year. And since then, I already watched it four times. I think three times or four times, I'm not sure. I think this is my fourth time. I think this is ultimately my favorite TV show ever. It's so funny and it's so real and I love the love stories which are implemented like the David and Patrick love story I think is the sweetest and the most realistic love story and it's just so pure and sweet and also Alexis and Ted I just if you have ever watched Shit's Creek I would definitely recommend you to do that it's a great show I really love it and I just love the realness and I love the stories and I love how they wrote all the stories. The end of a season and end of the show was heartbreaking, sad and happy at the same time, but also very realistic. And um, it did make sense. And I liked the way how it was written. And I think this will be my favorite show for a long time. As, um, 
we can see I like it so much that I watch it again and again and again and again. I might watch it a few more times this year, who knows. But now we are thinking of going into the garden and do some more things, I'm not sure. I didn't plan any workout for myself today. Maybe I will just work out in the garden and do some jobs and burn some energy this way. I'm also planning to bake a bread, which is still just sitting in the bowl. So I need to deal with that. And that's about it, I think. Yesterday afternoon, I spent playing game and enjoying myself and then I forgot to make the bread so I had to mix all the ingredients at about 10 or 11 at night and <laughs> just all crazy when you do something which is fun and you forgot about everything what you actually wanted to do. We have a lot of birds outside being crazy but I don't think you will see it right now because the window is not visible at the moment. But now I need to stop talking and I need to start doing things. So I'll catch up with you later when I will have more information. What have I done? If I did anything, I am going to wash the dishes because I cannot stand this situation which I am seeing. It is actually evening already. I have just finished decorating my Easter eggs. I did make this little chicken, which is really cute, and I used the glitter glue as a grass, and I think it's very cute. It does look like a little child made it, but that's that's okay. I'm not a professional artist. And then I made this little fella, which I touched with the chicken, so we have a little bit of green glitter situation going on. Also, I'm still thinking, rethinking the reef and I made two of those half eggs and I did stick some chickens inside and they might be part of a decoration. So I'm not really sure. It's not done yet. It's not decided yet. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'll think of something. I don't think I will be filming anymore today because there is nothing exciting going to happen. I finished the bread, but for some reason, if there is anyone out there who can help me with that, my bread is not rising at all. It's kind of flat. I mean, it's delicious. It tastes amazing. I really love it, but why is it not that big fluffy huge bread which I can see everywhere on Instagram. Why my doesn't look like that? I only managed to do that once really and the rest of the time it's more looking like this. It's not rising at all. If you can give me some tips, tricks or point me to some recipes which I should try and hopefully make a bread which will taste and look good, then please let me know. I will appreciate it very much. So now I'm going to make a dinner and just chill the out and enjoy the rest of the weekend by doing nothing. I want to say thank you for watching, thank you for staying with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked the video, even if you didn't like it. I mean, why don't you just subscribe, carry on watching my videos and maybe you will start liking it at some point. Who knows? You never know until you give it a chance and give it a try. You never know what will happen. You might fall in love with me and fall in love with my content and you will watch me every single week. So I encourage you to do that. Also, I want to say thank you to, to all people who subscribe already and are watching my videos. Not many, many, not many, many, not many, many of you, but that's fine. I appreciate your time. Thank you anyway for watching. Thank you for staying with me. I hope you will have a lovely week. Hope the weather will be nice. Hope your energy will be positive and everything will be happy in your life this week. And I will catch up with you next weekend, hopefully with something exciting to do. So until then, something. Bye.